So Guangzhou has its flower fairs, but how are other cities and companies drumming up business this Lunar New Year? Well, Mark Tanner has been tracking that. He's the managing director of China Skinny, and he joins us now live from Wellington, New Zealand. Welcome back to the show. Great to be here, Rochelle. So, Year of the Rat merchandise, how do you successfully market and sell that globally? It's an interesting one because inherently Chinese consumers aren't overly fond of the rat. Obviously, if you're born in the rat, you have a, 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 a waiting towards it. But overall, most people don't like rats. And, and there's been a lot of brands that have come out with these rats that look a little bit realistic. And so you're getting a lot of, a lot of consumers pushing back and saying, that's scary, that's, that's not what I like on my $100,000 watch. Um, but you're getting the ones that have really taken the rat and made it cute, or a little mouse cartoons, uh, such as some of the well-known American cartoons, Tom and Jerry and, and Mickey Mouse. Um, they've resonated really well with consumers. That was interesting because one of the criticisms that brands get when they're trying to, to really follow the Chinese zodiac is being really too on the nose and sort of just putting the animals themselves in the goods. How does one avoid that and really strike the right balance? Yeah, year after year, there's always, and particularly foreign companies, there's a lot of criticism, particularly online, about how uh, un in, not in touch they are with Chinese consumers. So you get these quite superficial attempts of really connecting uh, with Chinese traditions and cultures and failing miserably. Um, one of the brands most famous was back in 2016 when you had Nike, who, like everyone, there's always uh, special edition shoes for a Chinese New Year. And they launched shoes uh, with Fu Fa, which on their own means uh, to bring wealth and, and the fortune is coming. But together, Fu Fa means to get fat. So obviously there was a lot of uh, criticism and humour around Nike's uh, gaff. But this year, they are one of the best performing brands. They've really showed some really cultural understanding at a much deeper level. Uh, they've created an ad, uh, a 90 second ad that went viral. That, really took a, a, a quite a humorous play on the tradition of refusing your hongbao or your, or your red envelope. And, and the, the little girl followed her through the years, uh, running, running away from her auntie who was trying to give her money. Obviously, when she was running, there were the Nike shoes uh, having a cameo in there. So great, great representation. So then a little, bit of, is, a little is, bit of redemption there for Nike. Also, Apple managed to make a commercial that also went viral. What's really the secret to, to their success and to really making a good commercial attempt? Yeah, Apple's done a great job. Their, their biggest issue is they've got these incredible domestic brands, Huawei and Oppo, Vivo, Xiaomi, etc., that, that have really uh, eroded a lot of their market share and a lot of their uh, point of difference. And, and the fact that they're not a Chinese brand really works against them in a lot of cases. So they really have to connect with Chinese at an emotional level. And that's something they've done with their advert. That they, it, It's not a big sell in Apple. You, you don't even see an Apple on it. It was shot with an Apple iPhone, as they've done in previous years. But it just really is, is an emotional. It's tear-jerking. It captures that intergenerational connections with Chinese New Year and just some of those wonderful traditions in a very subtle and tasteful way. So it's, it's been one of the most talked about ads, uh, both domestic and foreign, in, in China, this, the lead up to this Year of the Rat. Now, Disney certainly isn't wasting time capitalizing on this with their Year of the Mouse campaign. In a lot of dialects, mouse and rat can be used interchangeably. Is this a win for Disney? Or perhaps will we see that, that uh, flow into things like an increase in park visitors? Yeah, you, you see it every year. Twelve years ago, the last year of, of the mouse or the year of the rat, Disney were all over it. Uh, Ferrari were the year of the horse. But what's, this year, what, what we're really seeing is a lot of partnership brands, which is one of those key trends that's happening in China, is you're getting brands from Gucci to uh, Miao Miao, who's doing a Minnie Mouse, um, to Adidas, uh, to... There's, there's hundreds of brands that have Mickey Mouse uh, merchandise that's tying them with Chinese New Year. So they're cute, they're something consumers are receptive to. And as a result, Disney is getting a lot of free advertising because Mickey Mouse is everywhere. So whilst directly it may not increase park visits, it, it will probably uh, subliminally kind of make people even more aware and keep Mickey Mouse top of mind. So I think it will, will be a great, great news story for, for Disney. All right, thank you so much. Mark Tanabe, Managing Director of China Skinny.